Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Time and Amari here today with another video. I hope you all enjoyed your depression day, I certainly did. And now we're back fresh to continue giving you guys news. So, it's a good thing I took a break because they waited until literally a few hours ago to drop the big news as to what's coming in the update. The first thing of course, as you all know, we are getting the Oni skins that was announced like last week sometime. So, Oni skins will be for Shiranui, they'll be for Sue, they'll be for Obro, and they'll be for Sakura. So anyone interested in getting a skin for those characters, make sure you have about 300 to 350 gems set aside. Because they are like limited skins, so those usually cost about that much if we stick to the normal trend. So just make sure you have that much if you want to get one of those. The other thing we will be getting is our next event. So coming here, you see we have Micah. She will be leaving after maintenance tonight. And she will be re being replaced by an event that will include ultra rare weapons. So it's great we're getting an event that includes that again. As far as these ultra rare weapons, they are only for certain characters. The characters this time being Sue, Morisaki, and then Renko here. Those are the three characters that are getting a weapon. So me personally, I'm pretty happy because I do want to eventually get more Saki. I'm just trying to hold my gems in case a character I really want comes along. And then she'll be the next thing after that I buy. So with that being said, I'll just hold on to the weapon tickets for this event. Have an S5 Ultra Rare for my Morisaki. And over the time while I'm farming gems, I will just kind of save up for a PvP weapon for her. And then, you know, throw that on her at S level 5 and call it a day. So anyone who's interested in gearing these characters, whether it be the Renko, the Suar Morisaki, can now do so. This is great for like newer players who are just starting because they did take away our super rare tickets per week from the weekly login and replace it with this god awful gotcha coin. So now this will be a way to kind of get your character into a piece of ultra rare gear at least as far as one of the weapon slots go. So you're not stuck using like a rare weapon or a low level super rare. You know, depending on what gotcha has given you so far. It's also great for anyone who's free to play because most free to plays aren't going to have an S level 5 gotcha ultra rare. So again, this weapon will be able to help you out. It'll definitely get you into being able to do hard content because... The gateway for hard content is maybe like an S level 2 or 3 ultra rare, and then as you get it to 4 and 5, it becomes trivial. So, yeah, it'll help to boost your DPS. I'm happy they're adding it, we really needed it, because the game has been awful stingy lately, so a free ultra rare, even if it is for only a select few characters, is always welcome. And remember, you can always come to the arena and pair that ultra rare from the event with the ultra rares you can buy here, I'm in the wrong screen, here we go, arena store. You come over to top level, and yes, you can pair it with any of these weapons, and these can be brought over time, so what I suggest doing is getting a Viridian weapon for whatever girl you're getting the ultra rare for, and then yes, yeah, she'll be geared as far as weapons go. It'll just be up to you to get the supporters. So, moving on from that, that's all said and done. Outside of that, Obero is coming. We do have the announcement. They released it a few hours ago on their YouTube channel. As far as all of these things, I will drop the links in the descriptions for you guys. So that you can view them yourselves. The trailer was about a minute long. I don't know why they moved away from just announcing the characters on the Facebook via GIF. But, we have a video the day before. So that's fine. Um, with that being said... Coming over to the gotcha, since we are getting Obro, that means the core and I gotcha here is leaving. So definitely make sure that you pull here if you want to get her items at an up rate. The same thing goes for you know, she is leaving. So if you're in the market for a green invincibility supporter, make sure you pull here at the up rate. Me personally, I even did like a discount 10 pull and I never do that. And I used two gotcha coins here. It was only 12 pulls. I didn't get anything, but I figured I'd at least give it a try. And unfortunately, since I didn't get her, I'm just going to have to let her go by because I need to save my gems. Now, with all that being said, Obro, I'll give you guys what I've heard about her so you guys know going into this. 
I haven't heard bad things about her, but I haven't heard great things either. This is pretty much like the general consensus of Obro that I've heard from Japanese server players. And it's basically, she's better than something like, say, Sue or Shiranui, because they're pretty bad, as we all seem to agree. But she's not as good as something like Emily or Yuki, for example, or something that's higher tier, like Emily or Koronai. So, unless she's your waifu, like, I really don't suggest going for her if you're looking for, like, someone who's gonna, like, turn the game over and spank it. Like, she's probably not gonna do that. Like, she'll probably play more like Sakura, where she can get you through stuff. But she's not going to feel totally busted. Like, Emily is totally broken and brain dead and just turns the game over. Obero doesn't do that. So, really, like, be cautious of what you buy, especially with characters being so expensive. Like, I know some people just play for waifu reasons. And yeah, if Obero's your waifu, then go ahead and grab her. There's nothing wrong with that. No shame. But I know some players only play for meta. And if you're looking for a meta character, Obero just is not it. If you want something like that, you should get Kurenai, you should get Emily, like, Morisaki will fit the bill, she's pretty powerful with her hyper armor, and then after that, like, Renko or Yuki, and then everyone else is kind of balanced, like, Asagi's really good, but she's not OP, she's just really good. So I just wanted to, like, you know, get that out there for people, because I've gotten some questions about, oh, it's Obro good? Yeah, she's good, she's fine, like, she's not crap. Like, the only characters I think are just, like, terrible. And Sue, I don't have experience with her, but I hear terrible things about her. Like, one of the Sue mains on my server said to me the other day, like, he, it sucks to admit, but yeah, she's a terrible character. And that, that just sucks to hear, because she costed a thousand gems. The same thing for Shiranui, like, I know from experience she's not that great. Like, some people like using her, some people think she's fine. I... I definitely think she needs a buff, and, like, I just recently got done playing her, like, exclusively for over two weeks because I was working her skills, and now that she's maxed, I just don't want to look at her because she just feels so bad compared to everybody else, like, so, you know, outside of these two characters, like, you're gonna be fine whoever you pick, like, everyone's gonna do okay they're the ones that feel really bad to most people but outside of them like obro's gonna feel fine like she'll probably feel like maybe like a little bit better or a little bit worse than sakura are about the same as sakura so if you don't mind sakura you may not mind obro but if you're looking for strong stuff you guys know who to go for so with that being said she will be here tomorrow for the cost of what is a character bundle now i think they're like 50 yeah they might as well be it's like 44.99 plus tax i know on mobile platforms it's a little bit more money so i guess there it would be actually 50 dollars so if you want to buy the character for obro tomorrow then the bundle will be in the store and after that she will be available for gems two weeks after her bundle release so start saving if you don't have enough and yeah grab her when she comes out so that being said, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Like, at this point, though, I, guys, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if I should praise or shun this company. Because, like, they do stuff like give us this gotcha coin and it's terrible. And then they give us an event that gives ultra rare weapons. So I don't know if they're giving us the ultra rare weapons because they realize, hey, people need these. But either way, like, it's a good thing for free to plays. Definitely get on it with this event. I know people probably already burned their AP potions before the event was even announced, but if you have any hanging around, try to hold on to them. Or if you have any New Year's lunches, because I'm yet to eat mine, try to save those. That way you can rush this event and make sure you get it done. Because you do want to be leaving this event with an S level 5 weapon, regardless of whatever character you want it for. So. I leave you all with the usual Monday reminder. Make sure you leave your facilities running close to the time of maintenance. Make sure you burn your AP close to the time of maintenance, which I need to do right now. And make sure that your special mode is used close to the time of maintenance. That way 
your resources are recharging while you cannot play the game for a few hours. And I'll see you tomorrow with, you know, my usual Tuesday review of the update, and we'll look at the weapons and see what they actually do. With that being said, you guys have a great rest of your day. Have good luck in your gotchas and in the arena. Get hyped for Obro because she will be here soon. And you guys take care. I'll catch you tomorrow.